three, one, two, three. Test of my child. I 試問一、二、三、四。試問上網畫面一、一。喂喂喂。喂喂喂。聽聲聽聲聽唔到。I am sharing my memories of the George Wilson I came to know as a fellow missionary while he was seminary president. One of his major contributions was the enlargement of the curriculum by including new courses in practical ministry. These courses included Bachelor of Arts in Pastoral Studies, BA in Religious Studies, and BA in church music. These and other additions to the curriculum became evident during graduation ceremonies. Diplomas were presented to students in each specialized study. Adding so many courses to the curriculum required additional faculty. Dr. Wilson addressed this need by enlisting Hong Kong seminary graduates to receive advanced theological degrees, then become seminary faculty. The Foreign Mission Board allowed him to manage student scholarship designated for the seminary. By establishing the seminary's own faculty development program, the expanding seminary increased the Chinese faculty rather than rely on missionary faculty. At the time of his retirement, at least 10 new local faculty had been added. This was the largest increase of local full-time faculty to that time. At the beginning of Dr. Wilson's presidency, the Foreign Mission Board decided to end all subsidies of operating funds to board-supported programs. The funds would be reduced by 10% each year. Dr. Wilson convinced the board not to reduce funds to the seminary 
for the full ten years during his presidency. One seminary project he started, but the builder could not complete, was the building of the present seminary campus. The George Wilson I remember was fully committed to the realization of a Hong Kong contextualized seminary. Testing, testing. Damn it, though. Yet ye sam, yet ye sam. Yet, hey, ho, yet ye sam, yet ye sam. Hang on, some son, we sent hot yun, I see him Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. Why, why, why? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two, one, two. Why, 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 yet ye sam, ye sam, ye sam. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Why, yet ye sam, ye sam, ye sam. See my, see my, yet ye sam. Dear friends, how humble and honored we are by the outpouring of loving condolences at the passing of our father, George Wilson and how deeply grateful we are for your presence here today to honor his life. We always knew that Dad did not belong to us alone. We shared him with all of you, but we weren't deprived as he taught and preached and mentored. We had the benefit of growing up in the place and among the people he loved, and we were and are doubly blessed in love and friendship. Thank you so much for those of you who've joined together and worked so hard to organize this memorial. We would especially like to thank Hong Kong Baptist Theological Seminary, where Dad followed his calling to help prepare others to lead and serve. Jim Sajui Baptist Church, which was especially dear to him as it was where in his early days in Hong Kong, he was ordained and served. And finally, the Baptist Convention of Hong Kong, where he'd love to serve alongside others as they further the cause of Christ, especially through the work of local churches. Above all, we're grateful to the Lord for his love for our Father and for each one of us. May God bless and keep you and give you his grace and peace. 最後我們要感謝你們為我們父親舉辦追思會 
我要差遣邊個咧？邊個肯為我去呢？嗱，當呢句説話咧嚟到我哋嘅當中啊，我哋會聞到有好多香港嘅人係咪仲需要福音？好多中國嘅人誒就喺。其他嘅國家裏面又需要主自己嘅話語臨到佢嘅當中，咁我哋當時能否話呢？主啊，我都在這裏，請你差遣我，願神祝福各位。
，譬如喺度，係我喺呢度。咁因為一陣咧會私班，佢哋嚟咗場，即係佢哋會喺度集合， okay. 跟住就進場。咁嗰啲就就會清空。OK， 得冇問題，唔該唔該一陣間係啦，咁就呢度啦，咁就係呢個麥嚟嘅。咁呢、這個誒耳機就係依家一陣間呢個係上面直播嘅畫面嚟嘅、嗯，你聽呢度得㗎啦。咁、okay. 我呢邊會控制出街直播嗰啲嘢，係、okay. 啦。呢、這個上面轉播嘅畫面係同步嘅，即時同步嘅，係、okay. 啦。我呢邊有 delay 嘅啫。好，明白。佢聽到係咩？佢呢個就上面講啲咩？佢就廣東話。係啦，廣東話。係啦，係啦。咁我呢邊出街，係啦。咁我呢邊到其時就廣東話就會瞄咗佢，咁你就照翻。但係呢度係我聽緊廣。你聽緊廣東話嘅，係啦，係啦，係啦。咁我呢邊呢個耳機就淨係聽你把聲嘅啫。係啊，好啊，好啊。即係上面嗰啲 audience 就係。如果要聽英文就有耳機俾佢哋。有嘅有嘅，咁你呢度同一時間都會有一條聲咧，就即係貨佢哋嗰啲耳機嘅。哦。係啊，呢呢條就係貨佢哋嗰啲耳機嘅。好啊。係啦。唔該。就係咁。O K。好。嚇唔該。誒，好啊，我我我。洗手間咧。我想攞個程序表實體版。好啊。
有水係俾我嘅。係啊係啊，你嘅你嘅。video 有係啊，有有有有講嘢，即係都要睇。咁唔使嗰個唔使。哦 ，OK OK。係係，我話俾你知。咁另外就係 last 就喺誒沙場有個 DJ 嘅，呢一個。咁佢係啦，嗰度都會誒屋企人都會有條 video 播嘅，係啦。咁呢條衫。
今日咧，我哋帶住一顆追思，想念感恩讚美嘅心情，一同喺香港正式同位美信牧師博士、院長致意，同埋送別。韦利逊牧师系我哋嘅宣教士、牧师、同埋院长。佢呢家能够系面对面经历神嘅大爱，同神一齐享受永远嘅生命。请听圣经嘅说话。主啊，你世世代代作我们嘅居所。诸山未曾生出，地与世界你未曾造成。从亘古到永远，你是神。愿你嘅作为向你的仆人显现，愿你的荣耀向他们子孙显明。愿主我哋嘅神嘅荣美，归于我哋神。Established a work of our hands for us. Yes, established a work of our hands. 我們手所作的。God is our protection, is our hope for years to come. It's our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Let's rise to sing him, O God, our help in ages past. Remain standing and bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today when we are facing the leaving of Reverend Wilson. We know that 
we really, really need you. We are very thankful for having Reverend Wilson here with us. He loves every single of, of us. He loved the churches in Hong Kong. He loved the seminaries here. Thank you very much for having him to nurture us, to build up our lives. We are really grateful. We pray that the pastor of our pastors is our role model. Allow, allow us to see your great love through him. But at this moment, we need to face um, the leaving of him. We are very sad. We hope that at this moment, everyone can feel your presence, comfort, and guidance. We pray that throughout the memorial service, we are able to experience you, your comfort, and your presence. May God lead us, allow us to commemorate President Wilson at the same time, we are able to experience the unexpected peace from you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. Follow up is scripture reading. The reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8 to 13. The scripture says, Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part that I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Reverend Wilson loves music a lot. He's put a lot of emphasis on hymns and therefore in our memorial service, we have three choirs to dedicate anthem to him. First, let's invite the Theological Seminary Choir to dedicate the anthem, The Gift of Love.
Today we are here to witness God's calling. We are very grateful that God has used Reverend Wilson's entire life to complete his work on earth. He is a very loyal pastor, missionary, president. President Wilson is my president. He encouraged me to enter the Baptist Theological Seminary to study because he said, if you are from Baptist Church, you should return back to Baptist Church. And he interviewed m me and he accepted me as a student. Apart from being the president, he's also the academic dean. Although I'm not one of the closest ones, what one of the closest students of him, but from his, his education, I'm able to have a chance to grow. Today, I can tell you that I'm the fruit of the love education that he have given me. He has given me a lot of room to learn according to the gift that I have from God. I was very curious at that time. And at that time, he knows that I'm very curious and I'm also very, I love freedom a lot. And that is why he gave me a lot of room, um, even with the very strict control of other lecturers. We should read 12 books per week. But he gave me freedom. In the 80s, in the ministry bachelor degree, I was able to read different New Testament books. It is because Reverend Wilson has a great heart to accept me. But this is his education philosophy to allow me to read and explore and to make mistakes in my early education. There are many alumni who have experienced the education of Reverend Wilson. In the 80s, we are not very smart or talented people, but because of his tolerance, of his love, of his patience, we are able to grow and to graduate from the Theological Seminary. In the 80s, Hong Kong Baptist Theological Seminary, it's a very popular school that are able to nurture um, theological educators. I think Reverend Wilson's education is the education of love. I would say I myself is grow under the education of love by this Reverend. When we think about the education of love, we can immediately think of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and also what the choir has sang. This scripture, it's a very, one of the very favorite pieces that people would like to use in weddings, but it can also be used in memorial services or funeral because it is also a great reminder to us before we s farewell the person we love. Because this is about the young church in Cor Corinth. In Paul's age, what were they doing in the church of Corinth? They were arguing. They were arguing their spiritual position. Some people think that they have better talent or stronger talent than others. They think that they should be higher in church, higher in rank. But when Paul saw these conflicts in church, he was very patient. He tried to remind them 
talents. There are many kinds of talents. They are all gifted by the same Holy Spirit. There are many things to s- that we can do to serve God, but there is only one God that we serve. There are many jobs we can do, but there is only one God that we serve. Because God wants us to bring advantages to others. Because Paul has remind us, reminded us, we are the body of God. We are here to learn to be loyal and faithful Christian community. With this basis, Paul says, "If I am able to speak all the dialects, yet angels." I would not. I would be loud symbols. If I can have the power to do all sorts of things, but without love, I'm nothing. If I'm able to sacrifice all my possessions and serve, but without love. I will get nothing. Love is not jealous. Love is not following our own heart. Love is not h- hatred. Love is happy for joy. Love ev- never ends. So Paul is suggesting love never ends. So what does it mean by never ends? In one of the books he wrote, "Love never ends." He mentioned that a lover and beloved. The hyphen in between is the everlasting lo- love, but the relationship between two person can be broken. However, if the lover is bringing this hyphen with them, with the love of God, then they are ever existing. Ever waiting to be loved. There is another image: two person dancing. When they are dancing, one may leave, and the dance may stop. However, if the other one who remains on stage and keep waiting. Although you may think that he is still waiting, so lover is still waiting f- for s- s- him to be loved. So loved, have been beloved. He is in the same dense position to waiting to wait to be loved. But this is. The love of patience. This is eternal love. This is. This love is about hope. According to Jim Peterson, he has another interpretation towards the scripture. Love is never ending. He says, the verb in Greek is not about what is love. It's about the functions of love, the uses of love. So we can see love is never give up. So, the one who are able to love will not be self-centered, will not put their own opinion above others, will not put their self first, will not 
be very controlling, but they use the truth, the word, to prosper, and put their faith in God, and to persist till the end. And that is why love is ne love never vanishes, never dies. And so love never dies. So according to Paul, according to dialect, knowledge, and everything, they are going to end one day. At this moment, only all we know is just a part of everything. But when the completeness came, we know that this is not. We are not going to know everything. We are still like a child. We are reasoned like a child. But when we became a man, we put everything childhood childish behind us. Now what we see is blurred. But later, we shall see face to face very clearly. Not sure if you have heard from a Swiss psychologist. He mentioned about how um, children's cognition, cognitive development. Baby started off is to identify the mother's face. From MIT researchers, they think that babies babies are inborn with face recognition ability and that is why babies are able to identify the one who give him or her love so no matter whether your mother father grandparents they are able to identify because this is the foundation of it as when they grow up they will realize the face may not last because babies also realize as they grow up the people whom they loved they come and go and one day they may leave and that is why the psychologist said there is an age of anxiety there is an there's nine months of this period of anxiety theologists think wonder why babies will have this anxiety this anxiety of separation is tr have having an everlasting hope and desire towards this face. We have the desire towards seeing God's face. We are seeing God's face not very clearly now, but one day we are able to see him clearly face to face and experience his great love. For you and me here coming to this age, we are still having a strong, very desire to have this never vanish face, the face of love. Where is it? We are asking ourselves the same question. Sometimes will be full enough to believe in fake the faces of love we try to replace um, the fake ones with the real ones so what is our choice today's churches in in over this century in baptist churches development in hong kong in over 80 years having the Baptist Church congregation. Same as the churches in Corinth, we are still reading Paul's scripture. We are still learning from him how to become the body of God and how to be the member, how to worship together. And that is why we hear it again and again that God loves us, telling us who are we, who do we belong to, and telling us we all have talents to serve God, telling us that we need to glorify God and to benefit people. We are learning to love and to be loved. It is a place where we are here to search 
in search of the face of love. Love is asking us to enter the mystery of love in search of God's face, the face of love. In 60 years, in these 60 years, Dr. Wilson again and again allow us to experience God telling us who am I, who are we, telling us whom do we belong to, encouraging us to use our talents to serve, to love and to be loved in church. I know you have experienced, we also have experienced it. How concrete was his love? How did he ask us to love? He learned our language. Reverend Wilson learned our language, eat our food. He eats something that we don't like. He said, the tail of chicken is very nice. I may not eat that, but he said it's very tasty. He thinks in our, our way and he feels our feelings. And he read our poetry. He enters our culture. He experienced, he empathizes us, he teaches us, he knows we don't have good English. And he said, learn better English, learn better theology. This is the only way for us to enter God's mystery. So Dr. Wilson is following Paul's education of love because he is asking us to chase and search for the phase of love. And that is why in all these 60 years in Hong Kong, he is a missionary. He is using his life to pursue a faithful life, to understand love is necessary. Love is true, love is real. Although he sees that you and me may have imperfection when we are executing love, maybe he himself is not perfect as well, but he will tell us, continue to love, continue to learn the never ending, never failing love. So he was able to love those who keep making mistakes. Now he's now returned to heaven, but he, his love never dies. He's still here. He invited us to be in this memorial service. He reminded us to enter love mis again, to search for God's face, the love of the face of love, because love never dies. So today we are here today. We need to think upon it generally uh, genuinely to recall him fondly to commemorate him because he is the role model of us just like what Paul has reminded Timothy Reverend Wilson also reminded us Paul teaches Timothy Raffin Wilson teaches us, they say. I remember that you have genuine faith. And that is why you have to use the talent that God has given you to light it up, to ignite it. Because God is not giving you a timid heart, but God is giving you a strong heart with self-control. Um, may Reverend Wilson continue to grow up with us. May Reverend Wilson continue to inspire us to bring hope to the world. We have to continue to recall the past and evaluate ourselves, hoping that our churches 
can be a love of the church of love. May our denomination becomes the denomination of love. May our theology seminary becomes the seminary school of love. So let's not hesitate. Let's love. Let's not hesitate. Let's go forward to pursue him. Followed by the alumni choir, by our Baptist Theological um, Seminary School. Many of them are Reverend Wilson's students. He's um, one of Reverend Wilson's colleagues, and he's also my colleague. So he's across the generation. They are going to sing all the way.
我要差遣邊個咧？邊個肯為我去呢？嗱，當呢句説話咧嚟到我哋嘅當中啊，我哋會聞到有好多香港嘅人係咪仲需要福音？好多中國嘅人誒就喺。其他嘅國家裏邊又需要主自己嘅話語臨到佢嘅當中，咁我哋當時能否話呢？主啊，我都在這裏，請你差遣我，願神祝福各位。Reverend George Wilson Jr. Biography was recorded、um, in our pamphlet. He was born on October twenty second, nineteen seven, in Shawnee, Oklahoma, in the states. His parents had four children. He was the eldest son. He was born in a family of preachers. His father and grandfather were both ordained pastors. He felt called by God to dedicate himself to missions at the age of twelve, and when he was fourteen, he determined to be a preacher. In nineteen forty-six to forty-seven, he joined the U.S. Army Reserve and worked as a chaplain's assistant in the U.S. Air Force in Imakawa. Despite difficult times. Reverend Wilson earned a bachelor's degree in music education from Oklahoma Baptist University in 1952, and from Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary in Texas, a master religious education degree and a doctor of religious education degree. In 1947, Wilson met his future wife Beth Elizabeth Dell Schreiber. In a music harmony class, the two married in 1948, and they had two daughters and two sons. The youngest son was born in Hong Kong. Mrs. Wilson, with missionary aspirations, also dedicated her life to missions. He has once shared, "I spent the next sixty years of my life with Beth. Beth's will for missions was in step with my own." In my life, she was my very best companion. In the early years of their marriage, they went through many struggles. Mrs. Wilson contracted polio when she was pregnant with their second child. Their third child was still born on the day it was to be delivered, and the couple's income barely made ends meet. But Reverend Wilson recognized that God, through these difficulties, has shaped and prepared him for the ministry. He taught his children. We cannot control any of these things, but we have an eternal, omnipotent, all-knowing God in charge of our lives. Our worries and our cares can be changed into blessings and happiness. In 1956, Reverend George Wilson was fully engaged in completing his doctoral thesis while serving full-time in church and overseeing five choirs. At the same time, the couple received missionary training. By the end of the year, they were appointed career missionaries by the Foreign Mission Board of Southern Baptist Convention. In January 1957, Reverend Wilson received his doctoral degree in religious education. He was only 29 years old at that time. Three months later, the couple, with their tru- three children, set sail for Hong Kong, thus beginning their missionary journey. Reverend George M- Wilson and his wife studied Cantonese. As soon as they set foot in Hong Kong, he doesn't only l- love the Chinese language and spoke fluent Cantonese. He was passionate about Chinese culture and could recite poetry from the Tang Dynasty. He enjoyed Chinese food so much 
that he often expressed his preference for Chinese food to Western food. He likes steam mist, f- steamed minced pork with salted fish and fish-flavored eggplant. In 1959, he was ordained as a deacon of Chimsha Choi Baptist Church and was presented with a Chinese Bible by the church. Dr. Wilson considered this Bible was his greatest treasure, using it to learn Chinese and share the gospel with others, and asked to be buried with it. He was committed to the ministries in Hong Kong for the longest period of time and had felt most accomplished. Reverend Wilson used his many talents to serve diligently in different leadership positions in Baptist churches, educational institutions, and organizations. He was once the acting vice president, academic dean, and acting dean of faculty of arts at Hong Kong Baptist College, now known as Hong Kong Baptist University. From 1969 to 1973, he served the Associate Executive Secretary of the Baptist Convention of Hong Kong at Hong Kong Baptist Theological Seminary. Dr. Wilson started as Professor of Music and Religious Education, then later Dean of Academic Affairs, Acting and Interim President, and from 1981 to 1994, he became President of the Seminary. Reverend George Wilson ministered in local churches with passion. He joined Tim Sha Choi Baptist Church, led in English worship services. Wherever he served, Reverend Wilson valued relationships and desired to help believers to grow so that they could lead and serve others. The Wilsons returned to the United States three times on furlough, and later they spent five years to take care of Mrs. Wilson's aging parents. During those times, Mr. Wilson taught at Southwestern Baptist Theological Ministry, Midwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, and Oklahoma Baptist University. They remained active at Chinese churches when they were in the U.S., and the Chinese chapel of the Gambriel Street Baptist Church was one among the churches that he served and provided pastoral care. In 1995, Reverend George Wilson and his wife left Hong Kong for New Zealand and pastored in Pakarange Chinese Baptist Church, Oakland. Reverend Wilson retired from the mission field three years later, but the couple never stopped serving the Chinese churches. He often traveled between the U.S. and Canada, preaching and teaching in both places. He also served as honorary pastor of Trinity Chinese Baptist Church in Oklahoma City. In 2010, Mrs. Wilson went to be with the Lord. Reverend Wilson was often invited to return to Hong Kong by churches to lead in worship services and to provide advice to leaders. He had preached at a seminary chapel service and celebrated Hong Kong Baptists at the seminary graduation ceremony. Reverend Wilson's writing, including Hong Kong Digest in 1970, which describes the development of Baptist churches in Hong Kong, He contributed to the book, How to Improve Bible Teaching and Training, wrote a teaching guide for the book purpose and plan of Baptist Brotherhood, and authored stewardship course in seminary for seminary education. Reverend Wilson is known to be a pastor who served churches with passion. He is also an outstanding practitioner scholar in education. He taught students according to their aptitude. Through him and his work, generations of Chinese preachers and missionaries proclaiming the gospel messages and leaving their footprint all over the world. He actively promoted the contextualization of Chinese theological education, reformed theological curriculums, and trained countless of educators for Chinese churches. His achievements and contributions have been well recognized. In 1975, he was named to the list of the most outstanding educators in America. His name was twice included in Who's Who in the South and Southwest in 1978 to 79 and 79 to 80. He was awarded the Profile in Excellence Award and the Alumni Achievement Award by the Oklahoma Baptist University Alumni Association. In 1992, he received an honorary doctorate. And in 1995, he was awarded the honorary, honorary doctorate in Social Science by Hong Kong Baptist University. Reverend Wilson went to be with the Lord in the early morning of September 20th, 2023, this this year. 
in the U.S. time. He was surrounded by his family and rested in peace at the age of 95. He has shown himself a humble, capable, and dynamic servant of God. He served the Chinese churches faithfully for more than 60 years, 30 of which has been dedicated to theological education that brought about countless servant leaders. He lived and labored his life for the Lord until the end of his days, leaving us a prime example of servant leadership. We are very grateful because we have Reverend Wilson. It's very touching to be able to know Reverend Wilson. It is our greatest blessing. In the memorial service, Reverend Chu has mentioned, he really does eat the tail, the bottom of the chicken. And there are a lot of stories that we didn't record it down. Say, for instance, the expansion of our theological seminary. We need to um, interview Reverend Chu and Mr. Soul. We have to write the history of Reverend Wilson, not only about Mr. Wilson, but also the history of Hong Kong Baptism churches. Following is paying tributes to Reverend Wilson. We're continuing to um, commemorate Reverend Wilson. First, we have we have Professor Jerry Jurgens. He is a missionary. He is the long-term partner of Reverend Wilson. Not only are they um, colleagues in seminary school. They nurture um, generations and generations of theological educators. So let's hear Je Professor Jerry Jerkins' tribute. I am sharing my memories of the George Wilson I came to know as a fellow missionary while he was seminary president. One of his major contributions was the enlargement of the curriculum by including new courses in practical ministry. These courses included Bachelor of Arts in Pastoral Studies, BA in Religious Studies, and BA in Church Music. These and other additions to the curriculum became evident during graduation ceremonies. Diplomas were presented to students in each specialized study. Adding so many courses to the curriculum required additional faculty. Dr. Wilson addressed this need by enlisting Hong Kong seminary graduates to receive advanced theological degrees, then become seminary faculty. The Foreign Mission Board allowed him to manage student scholarship designated for the seminary. By establishing the seminary's own faculty development program, the expanding seminary increased the Chinese faculty rather than rely on missionary faculty. At the time of his retirement, at least 10 new local faculty had been added this was the largest increase of local full-time faculty to that time. At the beginning of Dr. Wilson's presidency, the Foreign Mission Board decided to end all subsidies of operating funds to board-supported programs. The funds would be reduced by 10% each year. Dr. Wilson convinced the board not to reduce funds to the seminary for the full 10 years during his presidency. One seminary project he started, but the builder could not complete, was the building of the present seminary campus. The George Wilson I remember was fully committed to the realization 
of a Hong Kong contextualized seminary. Professor Jurgens now are um, are here with us online, so we can say hi to him. Um, Reverend Eric Tong, Reverend Wilson Chow, it's the president of Chinese Graduate School of Theology. They have once led and promote the theological education in Hong Kong. So now let's have Dr. Wilson Chow. I'm very, very grateful to be able to hear in Reverend Wilson's memorial service to commemorate this beloved Um, colleague, a good friend, and a theological educator. What is common between <laughs> Reverend Wilson and me is that we have Wilson in our name, but Wilson is my English name, is my first name. My father gave it to me when I was very young. I do not know why, but maybe when when he was young, he knew a president called Wilson in the States, and that is why he named his son Wilson. But Reverend Wilson um, never called me Wilson. He called me Wing Kip, because a Westerner called me with my Chinese name instead of my English name, Wilson. It shows the intimacy that we have. Reverend Wilson and I were both serving the theological ministry in Hong Kong in the 80s. In Hong Kong at that time, Hong Kong Baptist Theological Seminary was in Homantine campus, was um, quite convenient locationally. So, Every time we organize the um, meeting for academic deans. So Reverend Wilson always invited us to go to their home and teen campus to have academic exchange. Reverend Wilson is very, very generous and open. He really treasure the exchange and cooperation, collaboration between different seminaries in, ha in Hong Kong. He treasured the communication and collaboration between seminaries across different denominations. And that is why his big heart has been appreciated by a lot of us in the 80s. And he was really, really appreciated of his effort because um, he really contributed a lot and assisted us. For those who know Reverend Wilson, we know that he has very, very fluent Cantonese. He's not only fluent in Cantonese, he always um, used a lot of Chinese idioms. Um, they're very, very appropriately used and always bring a smile to us. We really, really missed him. He was really humble. He said that he was the president um, of theological seminary. It's not really in position because he sits in front of the scholars. He is not, he doesn't dare to show off in front of uh, the scholars. But in fact, he is very, very experienced, and he's humorous. He, and his humor, um, it's always what we have. We're still missing until today, and we'll continue to miss him.
we're really missing him in my mind because in in my mind I think Dr. Wilson Chow it's older than Reverend Eric Tong um, but because I think he's older than him so I changed the sequence next we have Reverend Christopher Law at the 80s he was really really young so Reverend Wilson invited him at the 80s so now let's invite Reverend Eric Tong Um, dear congregation, staff, and everyone here, it's really my honor to be here to share my personal interaction and experience with Reverend Wilson. I always call Dr. Wilson, Dr. Wilson. First of all, I always speak English, particularly when I came back from overseas. But he never called my English name. Well, I want to practice my English. He wants to practice his Chinese. And 37 years ago, I started to fully serve uh, Wan Chai Baptist Church. And at that time, he was the honorary advisor um, in Wan Chai Baptist Church. So the first pastor I met, it's him. He has always been giving me advice because I was so green at that time. And there wasn't a lot of teachers or anyone who taught me. Although for three years, he is our consult consultant. In 1989, he formed a five precedence, a uh, five reference. I've only served the church for two years. He actually asked me to consider to be or um, anointed as the pastor. So at that time, I was very, very, um, I struggled a lot at that time because in 1989, it has the sixth fourth movement. And at that time, I was just with two years of experience. He also asked me to think whether I should um, serve in the Baptist Theological Seminary because he thinks that there should be someone who is actually working in actual churches to serve in Baptist uh, Theological Seminary. So he invited me and other two um, colleagues to draft the curriculum and we started to set up the practicum curriculum format and we are very blessed and grateful to be able to recruit um, the committee member from different church churches we are able to share their work experience to the students um, this sharing is being highly appreciated and treasured by Reverend Wilson because this is the real life experience that we have to pass on to the students. I know that Reverend Wilson has a philosophy of teaching according to their talent because his philosophy is we teach everyone, we love everyone because to me I don't really agree with him like is it even if we are really really poor we still continue to teach me but in the end I submit to him because if not who am I um, who is going to teach me and that is why I'm here in this position for Baptist Theological Seminary position um, I'm very grateful to be able to share 
my difficulties and challenges at workplace, my family situations, um, my interaction with the deacons and leaders in church. He gave me a lot of advice. In Hong Kong, he's a missionary. He has demonstrated how to come to life and demonstrated how we should live. His Chinese is better than mine. So when he was talking to me in Chinese, I feel very, very stressed because um, I stopped studying Chinese after secondary school. So his Chinese could be better than me. He always used the Chinese idioms. He always used the Chinese media idioms that um, makes me have a headache. If we used him to decide, um, to, to say that he's a, um, he, he has an outer appearance of being white, but within himself is a real Chinese. From time to time, he always, I mean, we'll catch up for lunch or dinner and he'll always order the preserved duck. He was ask the waiter, do you have any preserved duck? So the waiter ask because he is a Westerner and he's asking for that because nobody is going to eat it with him and he alone um, eats it. We don't know why he fell in love with that. He's a missionary, an educator, and an ed and a pastor. But to me, he's the pastor. He's my teacher. He's my mentor. He's my brother. He's my dear friend. Hong Kong Baptism Convention has um, fa uh, organized a journey to find the roots. Reverend Wilson were invited when we are visiting one of the memorial stone. He, he was very excited. He nonstop sharing about he himself and his family, all the missionaries are getting a lot of assistance from this missionary fund. I'm really grateful for having, um, for Mr. Wilson's um, dedication, his service to Hong Kong has affected a lot of our lives to be, a to be encouraged In Hong Kong time, about a month ago, I FaceTimed him in August 20th. I FaceTimed him and I chatted with him. It was the Sunday morning. He was quite energetic at that time. We greet each other from time to time. But at that time, he wasn't um, good enough. And he will wave at me and say, wingman, hello. Although in that 10 minutes of FaceTime conversation, it was just me talking. He was just nodding and he encourages me to keep going, to keep sharing about my family, about churches, about um, Hong Kong. He's gentle, he's humble. And his labor to the last breath is my role model. The well-respected Reverend Wilson, he, I would like to quote Second Timothy, it said, I've already finished the battle. I have already finished the race. I've stayed the crown until the day we love. Thank you, Reverend Wilson. Thank you for 
being with us and you'll be forever missed. Reverend Wilson would always love to hear the churches, the stories of Hong Kong churches. Um, we'll continue to share stories. Next, we have Reverend Christopher Law. He's the senior pastor of Chimsha Chai Baptist Church. He's one of the alumni in the 90s. I am one of Reverend Wilson's student. I would like to use two points to conclude. The first one is coming to life, the missionary who comes to life. Because I've never known that he's a missionary. Because when I met him, because his Chinese was already very good, especially when he t speaks like idioms and quote a lot of poetry. And he alludes, he, he keeps saying Cantonese idioms. Particularly <laughs> because he is saying we never understand what he's saying. Um, and about 10 years ago, our family treated him for dinner. So we go to the Chinese restaurant. There is no preserved duck. So we ordered roasted goose. It, there must be the bottom of the roasted goose. And he really likes it. So my son, at that time, my son was very young. Who is this um, grandfatherly like? Reverend, he doesn't seem to be a Westerner. Why can he speak Cantonese and can s speak all these idioms? He was very curious. And I try to skip um, all the explanation and tell my son that he's actually a Chinese. So at that time, I realized further what is being a missionary in all these years. In, I understand missionary goes to that particular place to merge in the culture and nobody knows that he's a missionary, then he is a missionary. Because to me, he is really here living with us. There is no difference. He's like a local. And therefore, he's really coming to life and that is why I've always called him Reverend Wilson in Chinese. The second point is that I would like to call him a very gentle, uh, friendly senior. So when I was still a teenager, there were two giants because they are very tall. Um, he was six feet tall. Another one is Reverend Wilson. Whenever I saw the two of them, they're ver they're giants to me. They're like very far to reach. But they, but to me, Reverend Wilson has always carried a smile. It's about ni um, 1983. He was I was about to enter the uh, pre courses before the seminary course. So. Someone recommended me to have a chat with him after his service. I was quite nervous before entering the room to have a chat with him. That conversation was actually very relaxing to me. I was only a teenager at that time. I was only 18, 19 or 20 years old. It doesn't make me doubt why I want to enter seminary school but he gave me a lot of encouragement. And so I started the preparation course there. 
Although I was doing the preparation course only, I still need to do practicum. I was uh, sent here, TS, uh, the Chimsha Choi Baptist Church. So at that time, the acting um, pastor, he was the acting pastor, because our pastor were studying in the States. Every Friday, um, we theological students were here to be involved. And every Friday night, the prayer meeting, we are very happy. Usually, every nine we th every day, every Friday, 9 a.m., we start. But at 8 a.m. in the morning, we are very happy because he will invite us to have um, dim sum at 8 a.m. So we can see that, in fact, he is really, really nice and he really cares for us. So he is calling my Chinese name as well. I don't have another name. When he saw my wife, he also called her by her first name. He remembers us with their names. He's a great leader in my eyes. And that is why in the 10 years, um, he will always care for my wife and my son because we all are his students. So with this podium, there are a lot of memories. Um, he prayed for us when I got married. He, my wife baptized by Reverend Wilson. So Reverend Wilson contributes to a lot of our family memories. And he has been submit to God's calling and God has sent him here to live with our family, to be here in presence with us, to be a very good role model. He's my seminary president. He is my pastor. He is my friend. We commemorate you. So Reverend Law should be an alumni in 80s. Um, doc Dr. Low. Next we have Dr. Low. She is a teacher and a staff of the seminary school when Reverend Wilson were there. Let's invite Dr. Low. She is also in religious education. Please allow me to read Susanna Hanna um, tributes. Susanna said, It is very difficult to forget Reverend Wilson's Chinese preaching and sermons. May God comfort his family and Hanley mentioned she remembers vividly Dr. Wilson has voiced out the need of ex expansion in Hong Kong Baptist S Theological Seminary. And Helen has mentioned Dr. Wilson is a very loyal servant of God. Just like what he said in his last words, he has already labored to his last breath. He has already 
uh, finished the battle and he has already finished the race that he has to. He has already guide guard the road, um, the gate. He is until the day that he is giving us. It is until it is also to give it to um, the one who loved him. Doctor Wilson sails to Hong Kong in nineteen fifty seven. I was still in primary five and six at that time. In nineteen fifty nine, he was anointed as the pastor. I was baptized that year to join Chimsha Choi Baptist Church. Not only did I join the worship, but I also joined the children fellowship. Just now we have read Susanna's and Henley's message. They are both the sisters that we have grown up together. We ha all have participated um, in the ceremony when Reverend Wilson was anointed as the pastor. Until now, we are 70 plus years old already. Reverend Wilson is always our pastor. He's always guiding, guarding us. Susanna later has um, equipped herself at a th uh, staff worker. Um, and Henley and her wife are very, very loyal servants in, in, in church as well. So why today I'm reading it out, their messages? Because now um, he is another church. When Reverend when Reverend Wilson visited Hong Kong, um, he stayed in Ma On Shan, the Horizon Suite, and it's very close to Sai Sha Baptist Church. So Sai Sha Baptist Church is also very close to to him. Although he is just a member from the Working Adult Fellowship in Sai Sha Church, he's, she's also very close to Reverend Wilson. In when my father was ordained as the lifelong deacon of the church here, I feel like we are be we are in this big spiritual family. So today we are here, I'm here with those who grown up with me to commemorate Reverend Wilson. A lot of the previous uh, pastors has shared about the eating culture or heating a habit of him. What I want to say, what I want to share is the gifting culture. When he came back to anoint me with other pastors, he gave me a present. But he asked me to give him one dollar first, and then he gave the present to me. So what is this present? It is a clock, and the and there's a world map underneath the the clock, so I'm able to see the time. Um, because he 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 give 
he asked me to give her one dollar so that he wouldn't be blamed of giving a clock to me which is not very nice in Chinese culture so that's my sharing thank you Reverend Wilson were ordained as deacon in 1959 and 1966 he became the pastor in our church next we have the anthem presented by our choir from our church
We have heard a lot of tributes, a lot of sharing of about um, Reverend Wilson. If we really need to talk about it, it, it will be endless. He's 95 years old. And every single m pieces of memory is our encouragement. We are very grateful because in God, we are able to call each other brothers. And that is why we would like to pray for Reverend Wilson's family. We would like to pray for his family, his service, because we are able to call each other brothers and sisters. We are all in one family. We pray that um, Reverend Wilson's life would be our encouragement. We pray that um, his family has to organize different um, memorial services and funerals for him. So at this moment, we would like to pray for his family. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you because at this time, we would like to commemorate our pastor, um, Reverend Wilson's four kids at home. We can see that their kids are able to be blessed in this family. The couple has loved and served you throughout their life. They have gained the recognition of their family. They have com came all the way to Hong Kong. Um, they have lived like a local here. We know that being missionary children has a very different brought up. We pray that you build them up in seeing all these children, how to nurture their sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters. You have placed them to live in different cultures to experience even further, even deeper in how God you have loved us as a world. Um, allowing the children of Reverend Wilson to be able to participate in their missionary. In fact, they are already um, in a senior age and they have already got their own families and even sons and grandsons. We pray for each family member we pray that you're going to help his family to continue to be blessed. We can see that in his family, they are experience your grace every day. May you continue to s live in your grace and continue to shine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please rise. We are uh, once again using the hymn to allow us to be encouraged and comforted through the hymn to experience God's peace. It is well with my soul.
Next, we have um, some messages from the family. Today is actually reference Wilson's birthday. His children love to have a memorial service today. He thinks that this is a very meaningful arrangement. Let's listen to their words together. Dear friends, how humbled and honored we are by the outpouring of love and condolences at the passing of our father, George Wilson, and how deeply grateful we are for your presence here today to honor his life. We always knew that dad did not belong to us alone. We shared him with all of you, but we weren't deprived as he taught and preached and mentored. We had the benefit of growing up in the place and among the people he loved 
and we were and are doubly blessed in love and friendship. Thank you so much for those of you who've joined together and worked so hard to organize this memorial. We would especially like to thank Hong Kong Baptist Theological Seminary, where Dad followed his calling to help prepare others to lead and serve. Shim Sa Joy Baptist Church, which was especially dear to him as it was where in his early days in Hong Kong, he was ordained and served. And finally, the Baptist Convention of Hong Kong, where he loved to serve alongside others as they furthered the cause of Christ, especially through the work of local churches. Above all, we're grateful to the Lord for his love for our Father and for each one of us. May God bless and keep you and give you his grace and peace. 最後我們要感謝你們為我們父親舉辦追思會我們的忠心感謝你們他們 are really thankful. They really thank you genuinely. Thank you very much for coming to attend this memorial service of Reverend Wilson to be to thank this amazing missionary, this very loyal servant of the Lord. May we glorify the Lord. Thank you very much for those who are joining us in the internet. Um, this, the whole memorial service would be available on YouTube. You can keep sharing with your friends because um, the life of this missionary um, is definitely going to encourage a lot more people. Thank you for all the flowers and also the money. Um, the money we receive today will be um, used to cover the expense of this memorial service and the remaining will be donated to the Hong Kong Seminary, I mean Baptist Seminary, Theological Seminary to support um, our daily operation. Um, we would like to thank um, all the particular pastors here who has joined the committee and helped organize the memorial service. Um, throughout the whole process, we have a lot of learning and we gain a lot from organizing this memorial service. Again, through this memorial service, we pray that um, this will be able to um, ignite more lives in the Hong Kong Baptist Church denomination to serve God. Please rise. We're going to sing Faith of Our Fathers. Faith of Our Fathers is sacrificing
Please remain standing, standing for benediction. Dear Father, thank you very much for sending your dearest servant to Hong Kong, um, becoming the blessing of the Chinese churches, become the blessings to everyone here. We pray that you will be, will be able to follow him and set him as a role model to set our lives on you. Um, may we continue to work together to contribute our lives to you. To we pray that your love and presence will be with us, particularly with um, the family of Reverend Wilson. Amen. Please be seated. Now, please remain quiet and we'll let our worship team leave 